Welcome back guys, I now got the cables for the FreeNAS build. The first set of cables I got were from Monoprice, the SATA cables. And the other set were the um, SATA Power cables from CableMod. So let's take a look at these CableMod cables first. These, I placed the order for these, let me look it up. Okay, so I ordered these cables from CableMod, these two black ones, on December 29th, 2017. And they shipped all the way from Hong Kong, and I'm in the U.S. And they shipped with DHL Express, and so the 29th of December, it got picked up by DHL on January 3rd, and then it got to my house on January 5th. So that's pretty fast. They only took a couple days for DHL to ship it. Took a couple days for our uh, cable mod to get over to the DHL, but this is where the cables have came from was Hong Kong. Now, as I said in the power supply video, um, I wasn't going to use the cables that came with the power supply. And my power supply is the um, Seasonic G Series 550 watt. Now, the cable I got was the Mod Flex Paracord, but I recommend you guys get the Mod Mesh Nylon. It's a bit thicker. But the AWG, um, American Wire Gauge, of the um, Mod Mesh, or Mod Flex, I mean, the AWG of the Mod Me Mod Flex is 18, which is going to be enough. Um, that's the recommended spec um, for ATX power. And as you can see, it's just, as you can see, there's the material. Kind of looks like a braided. So this end will go into the the power supply, which is modular. And as you can see, we get four SATA connectors out of it. Four SATA connectors. So that's what that looks like. And it's pretty long. I mean, if you look at that cable, I can't even get I can't even get it in camera view. But it is very long. Look at that. So I can't even put it in camera view. It's a really long cable, but on sheet they say um, this one is 85 centimeters long. So here's the other one that came. And the way this came from DHL was they um, they put it in a bag and then cable mod um, really wrapped it up in this bubble wrap looking stuff. And it was really hard to get off. It took a good hour or two, not an hour, but it took a while to get the um, the cables out. So here's the other cable I got from Cable Mod. This is going to be for my 7200 RPM drive drives. Um, so we got two SATA connectors. So as you can see, these are, these are a bit um, higher quality. There you go. These are a bit higher quality than the um, the ones that come with the power supply. So since this is going to be a NAS and it's going to be on 24-7, I decided to opt to get um, to um, get better um, power cables um, for the hard drives. So those two are the um, cable line cables. So they cost me roughly um, 12 bucks a piece for each one of these. And this is the Mod Flex ones. Like I said, I recommend getting the, the Mod Mesh. They're a bit, they're a bit thicker, um, but I think they're a couple more dollars more. So in total, I paid um, 23.80 for the cables. The shipping has a flat rate of $20 and it ships from Hong Kong via DHL Express and like I said it only took a couple days to get to the US so pretty impressive um, and I paid via PayPal so my total was $43 for those two cables from CableMod. Now something interesting I noticed was the um, also with those cables came in a commercial invoice from TL Sourcing which I think this is the company that actually m manufactured the cables and when I looked at it, cable mod is TL sourcing. But when I look at the invoice, if you look at the total, they're only have they only have me on here for two dollars and thirty eight cents. Yet I paid twenty three dollars for the cables. 
but showing me for the um, part number custom cable mod stock cable custom kit two pieces they're dollar nineteen a piece, but they charge me twelve dollars a piece on cable mod. So that I I just think that's a little fishy um, that they would send me the the invoice showing that's what the cables were worth. They're basically saying, hey look at this, we overcharged you. So I don't know if anyone else ordered from Cable Mod and got this commercial invoice that shows the cables were only a dollar a piece, but um, that's interesting, to say the least. Um, the quality's still there. Like I said, Mono Bryce, their cables are like a dollar a piece too, but they're just rubbing it in your face that they charge you 20 some dollars, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. So here's my configuration from Cable Mod. As you can see, the total price, $23.80. Um, that's for the cables. The shipping on top makes it $43.80. Um, so I got one dual SATA, one quad SATA, which I just showed you both of those. It's laying over there. So the next set of cables I got for the Freenas build are the um, the data, the SATA da data. Those ones do the SATA power. These ones will do the SATA data. And I got these from Mono Price because I I love Mono Price. Mono Price is good. Now I paid. Let me see what I paid. Fifty cents a piece, and these are eighteen inch, so the same length as those one those cables, roughly. Um, and if you look at them in the bag, they they look really really short. Like oh my goodness, this is not gonna fit in my case all the way to the hard drives, but. In the next video, when we do the follow-up, I'm going to show you that they're they're plenty long enough to reach all their hard drives. So these are the 18-inch SATA 6 gigabit cables um, with locking latch, 90 degree, and they're red. Now, Mono Price, they gave you different colors to choose from. You got black, blue, red, silver, and I also believe you have green. They come in 18-inch, 24-inch, and 36-inch. And they're 26 AWG, which when you look for SATA cables, look for at least 26 AWG. There's a lot out there that are 30 AWG, and they're 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 shittier. You know what I'm saying? The lower the number, the thicker the cable. That's how AWG works. So 26 AWG is superior to a 30 AWG SATA cable, which there's a lot of them out there. So this is a higher quality SATA cable. Now a lot of people have problems with their um, hard drives and stuff and think the hard drive is failing but in reality it ends up being the SATA cable and you may think oh cables cables go bad no cables don't go bad oh why would it be the SATA cable well a lot of people that build their their NAS boxes are wondering why the fuck you know a couple years later they're getting data corruption and one of, the, one of their drives went and they're like what is going on here and they figured they used the cables that came with the motherboard or they used the cables that came with the hard drive or whatever and they didn't go out and buy good high quality SATA cables. So go out and buy good high quality SATA cables. I recommend you go into monoprice.com. These are 49 cents a piece. I got six of them because I'm gonna be using six drives. And came to the total of three bucks. And the shipping was two bucks because they shipped via um, the postal service in the mail. Basically they just put it in the envelope and they mailed it. And they used um, United States Postal Service saver which was only two dollars so my total came out to about five dollars so not bad at all um, a lot cheaper than you get any other cable from Amazon now I already opened one but if you get these and it's in the winter and they're in the mailbox they're frozen you're gonna want to wait until they they thaw out and they're warm enough before you start bending them because you don't want to break break the cables inside but anyway as you can see here Here's what they they look like on the end there. It's just a serial ATA. You got your um, you got your locking mechanism, which it is metal. You got your end there, and you see this is a 90 degree angle one. And here's the cable. Very nice. Um, it does have wording on it right here. That's black. Pretty sure you can't make that out. There you go. Just barely. It says um, 26 AWG, 80 degrees Celsius, 30 volts. Um, VW dash, is that a one? 
and it says serial ATA. And on the other end, you just got another locking mechanism. So they're they're very it's very um, thick. You can see not very flexible. So it's nice. So here's what they come in. They come in these little things right here. Mono price. Um, the product ID is 8785, made in China. So these are the little um, bags they come in. I got six of them. And ROHS compl compli compliance. Um, very good cables. Um, can't really say much about them. They're SATA cables and they're good quality. Like I said, $5 total. Um, if you went anywhere else, you would be paying a lot more. I was originally going to just get ones from Amazon, you know, Cable Matters ones. And the total to get six of these fuckers was like $14. This is $5 shipping included. So, a lot cheaper. And it's only $5 because of the, the, the shipping that was the bulk of the price. I mean, these were 50 cents a piece and they're much higher quality. Um... But yeah, so that's what they look like. I got my power cables, that um, custom cables for my Seasonic power supply. You can also get custom cables for your power supply. I recommend it, especially if it's gonna be a 24 seven application. Um, just get higher quality cables for the power because if it's gonna be something that's on all the time, you know, you want it to be reliable. Um, same thing with your um, SATA connectors, data wise. Just as important. People think, oh, just the cable. It's not going to make that much of a difference. It does. If it's going to be on 24-7, it does. And people do have problems with their NAS. And they wonder, what the hell is going on? It ends up not being the drive. It ends up being the SATA cable. They use one that came with the motherboard or the hard drives or just anything like that. You know, Don't use any included cables. Um, buy higher quality ones. And I recommend Monoprice for that. Cable mod for your power cables for your modular power supply. They support Seasonic, um, Corsair, EVGA, um, all the main major brands out there that you would get a power supply from. They support them all. You just gotta get your model. And like I said, a lot of power, a lot of power supplies don't include um, enough SATA connectors or they're not long enough. You can get custom cables for your power supply. So if it's a modular power supply, you can get custom cables. Say you need eight SATA connectors and they'll only give you six. Well, you can get, they can give you one that has eight on it. Cable mod can. Um, like I said, I don't know what's up with their commercial invoice thing, but they are expensive, but probably worth it. Um, looking at cable quality, it looks fairly good. Another thing to notice, when you go to get cables like these, if you notice how they, how they're not um, molded. They, they, they go into a jacket. They go in to a jacket. That's how you know if they will not catch your house on fire for the most part. They're not molded. They go into a jacket. So, so you have a l less chance of two wires um, arcing in between each other that way if they go into a jacket like that. And it's hard to see because these are... These are black cables. Um, maybe you can see better on the side. See right there. See that how there's how there's holes where the cable, each each individual wire goes into like a hole into a slot. That's how you can tell if it's not going to catch house on fire. Because if they go into a slot at manufacturing, the people that's assembling these cables, they you have unless. There's less chance of them fucking it up, basically, um, when it's like that, when it's manufactured that way. Um, if it's just all the wires are molded and you can't see the individual um, sockets that goes into, then there's a much higher chance that there could be a wire in there that's touching or that could arc potentially in the future. This way, this method, wires inside there can't arc. Anyway... I've went on way too long talking about cables, um, so I'm going to wrap this up. So that's a look at the cables. Um, we'll see you in the next part.